Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to explore one of the most powerful features in Power BI, the bookmark action. With the help of this feature, we can create more interactive and user-friendly reports by allowing users to save and quickly navigate to specific report views. If you're new to Power BI, don't worry, we have created a complete watch list that will guide you step by step, where we explain everything you need to know. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe and click on the above icon to start watching from scratch. Bookmarks are a powerful feature in Power BI that allows you to save the current state of your report, including filters, visuals, and interactions. You can then use these bookmarks to quickly navigate to specific report views or to provide additional insights to your users. Bookmarks can be particularly useful when you want to highlight specific data points or trends in your report and allow users to focus on them. Oh, get started with bookmarks, we first need to create a report page. We have already created a sample report page for this tutorial, but you can follow along with any report page you have. The next step is to create a visual or a set of visuals that you want to bookmark. In this example, we have a six chart chart and slicer. Now we will be creating a two bookmark, one will be selecting only the sum of the sale by the country and the other bookmark will make all the chart visible. In order to add a bookmark, we will go to the insert pane and from the insert pane we will go to the button and from the button we will be adding the two bookmarks. Now you can see the two bookmark has been added to a canvas, but the action over here is the blank. In order to create the action we will go to the view pane from the ribbon, from the view pane, we will go to the bookmark option and now you can see the bookmark is added to the left side to the format option. Over here, you can see the add option, so we will click on it, now you can see a bookmark is added. We will be adding one more bookmark again by clicking on add button, now you can see two bookmarks have been added, bookmark 1 and bookmark 2. Now from the ribbon option we will be going to the view pane and from there we will select the selection option from the show pane, you can see that one more window has been appearing left to the bookmark called selection. Now we will be selecting on our first bookmark one and then to the left side you can see the eye option, we will take our cursor over dear and we can see the option called is hide the visual, now all the visible are enable, so we will disable all the option except the sale by the product. Now we will be selecting our bookmark too and all the option are visible, we will keep as it. Now we need to add this option to the bookmark which we had created in our canvas. So we will be selecting our first bookmark and we'll go to the format option from the action button. We will expand it and now you can see the bookmark is none, so we will click on it and add the bookmark 1 and the same we will do it for bookmark 2. Then we will close the selection pane and bookmarks pane and we'll come back to our canvas. Now that we have created our bookmark, let's test it out. Click on the bookmarks one button and now you can see just one visual is visible to us and now if you click bookmark two you can see all the visuals are visible to us. Bookmarks are a powerful way to create more interactive and user-friendly reports in Power BI. By following the steps outlined in this tutorial, you can easily set up and test bookmarks in your own Power BI reports. These bookmarks can help you to highlight specific data points or trends in your report and allow users to focus on them. In summary, bookmarks are a powerful feature in Power BI that allows us to save the current state of our report, including filters, visuals, and interactions. By creating bookmarks and customizing their names and descriptions, we can provide more insights to our users and allow them to focus on specific data points or trends. So, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more Power BI tutorials to enhance your data analysis skills.